what it looks like to be in community. Um, <laughs> I'm on baby brain. And I'm baby brain. <laughs> <laughs> For me, community is building each other up, sharpening each other. I get to experience so many walks of life with so many different people. Your experience walking with God is so much more profound when you have people around you. You need some companion. We were not made to live this life in isolation. God created us to be with each other. But coming together and building each other up, you know, God kind of kept pulling me and pushing me. And I made the choice from, do I go back to England or do I stay here? And the major moving factor of my heart was, this was family. I think we have to take the words of Paul to the Romans to heart where it says, welcome one another as Christ welcomed you. I was trying to do the math the other day, but I have been here at Calvary Chapel for about 36 years. Being part of the men's ministry, I think 20, 25 years. I'm Chinese. I used to go to Chinese church. I met a, a lady. She invited me to uh, the Bible study, you know, joyful life. Some personal things that I walked through that the men have helped me through. The biggest one is when I had uh, bouts of depression. And, and I think if I didn't have the community, the church, you know, help me through that, I think that it would have been really difficult. Sometimes I just feel like I'm so grateful for the people in my life, you know. Give me the chance to see how good our God is and He's a living God. I've had joyful life groups, women's groups, I have community groups. I noticed that people are, they're ministering to each other. I don't hear them talking about the latest football game. I hear them talking about their lives. I set up a home group with some friends and we meet weekly to have dinner. We just share testimony. We just catch up on life and see what's going on. So many moments of my life where I've been looking for direction from the Lord. And the people in my community have always just been the voice of God to me. But when people walk in feeling like they're the only ones, and then all of a sudden they have one or two other people who know exactly exactly what it is that they're experiencing or going through. It's like walking hand in hand with people. I could pick up the phone, I could call these men, you know, and say, hey, you know, I'm struggling. And they would pray with me, they would remind me of the scriptures, you're gonna get through this, you know, hang in there. This will always be home, and there will always be somebody who will pray for me, be there for me in any capacity. Calvary has a lot of events, men's and women's ministries, barbecues, volunteers. There's all different age groups, there's all, all different personalities. Just walk up to somebody and say hi in the corner. Just get to know them on a personal level and I think you'll start to see that and like, oh wow, the reward is gonna be great. My best friends, I can honestly say, develop from being part of the men's ministry. We all need each other. We need one another's voices. When you are uh, weak, they can pick you up. If somebody is uh, kind of worried, we can encourage them. We're not made to live this life in isolation. God created us to be with each other. You're missing out if you're not a part of a group of people that you can have fun with, that you can rely on, that you can pray for and have them pray for you. And so for us, we've come from different spaces of of gathering as, as men, as women, in our homes. And we just really want to condense down and figure out what does community look like for us as a church? Um, what's to come with community? We're relaunching um, the way we do our small groups, the way we gather, um, just the heart posture behind why we do things as a church in our community. The attributes and the work of the Spirit is done the best in community because we get to see ourselves, where we need to grow, we get to share our gifts, and help others grow. It doesn't matter if you're old, if you're young, if you're single, if you're married, if you have kids, if you don't have kids, wherever you are in life, you can learn from someone, but you also have something to give to someone as well. And I think that is just the best part of community.